Organizations like Planned Parenthood are trying to convince women that abortion will give them the power to lead the lives they choose with strength and confidence. Abortion empowers women. That is their mantra. But is this the truth about abortion? Taking someone else's life cannot empower anyone because abortion destroys. It does not build up. In fact, abortion devastates women's health, ruins interpersonal relationships, and tears our very social fabric apart. Planned Parenthood would have you believe that to have control of your own body, you must have the right to abortion. Some claim that abortion is economical, necessary, even moral. But veteran pro-abortion doctors admit that there is a psychological price to pay. Psychiatrist and OBGYN Julius Fogel, who has performed tens of thousands of abortions, states, Every woman has a trauma at destroying a pregnancy. A level of humanness is touched. This is part of her own life. When she is destroying a pregnancy, she is destroying herself. Feelings of guilt, depression, and regret are very common in the aftermath of an abortion. But that is not all. These women also have to deal with physical pain that is frequently severe. And after an abortion, they are 20 times more susceptible to diseases such as breast cancer, as reported in dozens of studies by the Coalition on Abortion Slash Breast Cancer. Planned Parenthood. How is it empowering to be hurt emotionally and psychologically to experience trauma and physical pain? In addition to harming women's health, abortion also ruins relationships. Olivia Gans, director of American Victims of Abortion, emphasizes that couples who go through an abortion break up about 70% of the time. It makes me think, if over half of women undergoing abortions already have a child, how many children grow up with the missing parent? After tearing partners apart, abortion has an impact on the relationship of the mother and her other children, especially when the children learn that their mother disposed of their sibling. Abortion, then, works to, to deprive a child of the stable foundation on which they need to grow, and can leave them feeling alone and vulnerable. In fact, according to studies done by Naim Peters and a National Longitudinal Survey of Youth, children of mothers who have had an abortion tend to have more behavioral problems and suffer more abuse from their own parents. Even if done in the name of social and economic welfare, abortion always has destructive repercussions creating more brokenness and instigating other acts of violence. Ultimately, the empowerment promised by Planned Parenthood is simply a license to destroy. And this diabolical design was rooted into our way of thinking as early as 1914, when Margaret Sanger advocated the right to destroy as part of her credo of women's rights. The ability to destroy, to destroy human life, is that the type of strength that empowers caring and compassionate people? This so-called right has annihilated more than 60 million children in this country alone. Taking innocent unborn life destroys the very thing that makes us human. Pro-abortion thinking teaches us that when faced with a problem, we ought to dispose of it. But violence inside the womb leads to violence outside the womb. How can we expect to maintain peace if we are waging a war against the lives of the unborn? Life and death. Abortion is not empowerment. Abortion is an attack on the innocent and powerless. Yet the world pushes a lie of empowerment that it is empowering to kill a child that comes between you and your desires. This false idea of empowerment must be uprooted if we are to end abortion. 
We need to unmask abortion for the violent actor really is and acknowledge how destructive it is, how it hurts, how it hurts women physically and psychologically, how it ruins relationships, and how it divides society politically, morally, and socially. To strip away at this false idea of empowerment, we must change the modern notion that motherhood somehow takes away a woman's freedom. Real empowerment is the power to build, not tear down. Motherhood gives women the power to build up and the freedom to change the world. By choosing motherhood, they can actually change the future because we know that children are our future. I'm here pleading for the unborn because my mother chose to nourish the life entrusted to her. All of our mothers did the same thing. That is why we are all here today. It was our mothers who raised and shaped us into becoming people of virtue. No love shapes a person like a mother's love. The stain of abortion will be wiped away only when our modern culture recognizes the gift that motherhood truly is. Let us be inspired by the poet William Wallace, who wrote, The hand that rocks the cradle is the hand that rules the world. We need to continue to support mothers and the power they have to change and renew humanity. I think that is authentic empowerment. Thank you. Wasn't that amazing? So, yeah, yay, awesome. Gerard will get to go compete at the National Right to Life Oratory Contest in Atlanta, Georgia this summer. We're very excited about that. I do want to shout out to our donors who allow for us to give cash rewards and the trip to nationals and um, the trophies and that. And I also want to shout out to our judges. Um, do we have any judges in here, either local or state judges? Could you... Yep, thank you. We couldn't do it without you. You're awesome. Great job. Thank you. <laughs>